Welcome to Project Zomboid. My name is Drunk on Life, but you can call me Drunk for short. And we are following Brenda. We're actually leaving our safe house at this point. Uh, we have a food so shortage. I've been so concerned about finding books and whatnot that I uh, didn't check my pantry. I have very little food left. So what we're going to do is we got a couple things. I loaded up the uh, van with the generator. And we're going to go far east up to the very top of the map. Um... And maybe uh, I see that there is a gas station up there, but on the way there are some houses and we're going to hit these houses looking for food, drop this generator off and then try to head back home. I don't know if this is going to be a day affair or if it's going to take more than more than a day. I'm not real sure. I do know that um, I want to go ahead and get this generator in place. Maybe we'll find some other things. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's really the... Uh, the goal for the the day is to um, make it up to uh, the gas station. So it's going to be quite a drive. It's going to be quite a drive. Um, we've lasted quite a few days. Um, I think we're on day like 10 or something. And we were looking pretty good in this van. Once we get infinite gas, and I'm assuming that once I put a generator down, that's what I'll get is infinite gas. Um, then we'll, uh, we'll move on to crazier stuff right we'll start uh raiding the town and um finding other loot we do need to get a couple more axes i'd like to find a sledgehammer um obviously there's a gun store up in the east that we can check out as well so i think i've already been there i'm gonna uh, back her up back her up we're gonna uh head a little bit further so feels like we've been driving for days i know it's only been a few hours but geez man a lot of farmland. Who do we got here? Oh, look, boarded up a boarded up house. You know what this could mean? This could mean some serious <laughs> business. Now, if I remember right, I don't think I've ever investigated something like this, but I imagine that the house is going to be a rocking. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we're going to have to figure something out here. I'm okay. I'm loaded up. I got my gun. Yeah, I can hear him already. These kind of houses, from what I understand, this is going to be like a food fest. Going to make sure that this uh, over here doesn't have anything, does it? Yep, there's somebody. All right, knock one down. Ah, took three bullets. I just need to get better. That's just the deal. So we have here a hammer, hedge cutter. Yeah, none of none of that stuff's going to work. We're going to have to figure it out. Maybe I should walk around and make sure that there's nothing's been breached yet. So I don't have any surprises. I don't think anything has, but I don't know. How many Z Zambies are there going to be in here? All right, that's boarded up. It's boarded. Here's one. Boarded. All right, so this is fully secure. What do I do? I don't know how many there's going to be. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to grab that hammer. I don't think I brought a hammer with me. I wasn't planning on this. I wasn't expecting to have such a, a boon. Now, from what I understand, these, these kind of houses, they have a lot of food, but they're really super dangerous. So I'm going to... Okay. Um, what can I do here? Yeah, let's pull the hammer. And, uh, reload. <laughs> Make sure that I'm okay. Um, let's, let's pull this out first. Unbarricaded. Okay, we got this. Now what? Oh, how am I going to navigate this? Okay, we'll equip it. Equip our gun back. I guess I'm going to try to open the door and release the hounds. Up. Oh. Ooh. They were ready for me, too. There we go. Oh, that didn't sound good. Just heard some gr glass break, and I'm, I'm stirring them up. Stir stirring up the hornet's nest. Oh, geez. Okay, there's another one. There we go. I think I got him good. All right. All right, I'm scared. I'm scared. I should be scared, right? 
Jesus. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, geez, Louise. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, my God. Okay, reload. Reload real quick. There we go. Ready. Oh, come on. Really? Jesus. Reload it. See what else we have. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Back it up. Okay. Stomp on him. Got him. Save my bullets. Save my bullets for something else. I'm going to say the shotgun is working out pretty well. Maybe I can call him over. Come over here. Hey, you're banging on the wrong window. I got an open door right here for you. Come on, man. Come on out. Oh, there's a few of them. <laughs> oh, world's worst Project Zomboid player ever. Please come out this door, this beautiful door right here. Stop banging on the window, please. All right, fine. All right. See, I'm, I'm nervous. Okay. There's another one. Oh. <laughs> Should I be this scared? Should I be this nervous? Something tells me I should. There we go. Come on. There you go. Put you out of your misery. There's another one. Nice. I'm a little bit famished too. I just don't know how many there are. That's a problem. Is it, if, if I knew that there's two, I see two. Okay, there's one. Let's back it up. Jesus. Run! Push him down. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Oh, oh, fuck. There we go. Really need to learn to, to count my bullets. Okay. Well, see, this would have been a death trap otherwise. I don't know how many there are in here, but there, there are an ass ton. You gonna come out? Okay. I think that's it. Let's clear it. Well, nothing in there. This looks clear. It's all clear, I think. Maybe I should start taking stuff, huh? Well. I think I, I think I cleared out nearly twenty of them. And look at all that food. Oh, mission accomplished. Might have a couple more houses, but this is good. This is good. This is just what we need. We need to keep stocked up. Yeah. Box of garbage bags. I wonder how many even are in a box. Canned potatoes and chips. We will take them all. Of course, none of the zombies had anything. You would think that they, since they were survivors, they'd have something. Weapons or whatnot. But instead, they just had to barricade themselves in the house. Because that's the smart thing to do. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. House number two. All right, so this one isn't boarded up, so this should be fairly cut and dry. Let's see what we have. 
go and look through all the windows, just kind of case the place out first. Make sure that there is nothing around me that might surprise me here. Nothing in there. Don't I see anything. Oh, there's one guy right there. Okay. All right, let's roll in here. Doors open. Okay. Got him. Stomp on him. Just hope that nothing comes up from behind me. Nothing in there. Uh, it's really dangerous for me to um, carry my gun into these like really small um, confined spaces, but I don't know. I'm feeling lucky today. Feeling lucky. Luck is with me. Backyard <laughs> electronics. No, we'll take that. Yeah, let's go ahead and read it. Let's go ahead and read it. I'm still looking for um, carpentry for intermediates. Um, but it's, it's not, I mean, it's not like of utmost importance, at least not for this one. We're going to get the generator up and running. I feel good about it. Get a drink. We have a can of oats. Now, eventually I might end up taking these cooking pots. But I don't know. And duct tape. Yeah, we'll take that. That. I don't really need any of the other stuff. Nothing in there. And that is boarded up. That's barricaded. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Doesn't sound like there's anything in it, but you just never know. What we got? What we got, yo? Let's read that. Uh, fishing for beginners. Uh, I don't know if I want to take that. Metal work for intermediates. I'll take that. Uh, a gardening textbook. Yeah. I'm going to have to build some bookshelves here shortly, and then I'll just start taking all the books. I'll take all the books. It takes all the books. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, since we have this, car this, this big van, we can pretty much just, like, load up. I mean, literally, I mean, I think that's what, there's six seats. So five seats times 20, that's 120. Well, that's 100, I'm sorry. My math's all wrong. And then I have 83. Um, so 183 um, spaces or weight or whatever you want to call it. Is there anybody in there? Ah, another generator. I might leave it for the now, come back to it on my way back. Dismantle this radio. Bag of red clay. I wonder what the red clay... If anybody knows what red clay is good for, let me know in the comments. I might have to come back for that too. A multi-tool. There's no telling what that is. Ooh, a hand dolly. Yes. Definitely taking that. Not that it, it's... The, the uh, zombie populations are so insane in the... Uh, in, in town that I don't know when I'll have a chance to use it. I mean, I'll have to clear out like probably 50 of them. Before. It's starting to get a little bit late. Um, huh. Uh, it, it's 1800, which what's that, like six or something like that? Something like that. And um, I don't know how far east I've come. We've been driving for quite a while. Um, so... I might end up staying at this house or else staying in the car. I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure. Let's see what all we have here. We're going to loot this house. Maybe find some more food. There's a gas can. Can always use more gas cans. Colored wire. I don't know what any of this stuff is good for. I wish there was a better Hydrocraft guide other than there, there's undeniable.info, which is Hydrocraft uh, stuff, but it doesn't really give you much. It's just kind of like... It just shows you the items and tells you where you can find them, but it doesn't really tell you like recipes. It's not really in depth, unless I'm looking at it in the wrong place. If I'm looking, if there is a place on undeniable.info that has Hydrocraft uh, recipes, let me know. Let me know, including like what books you need to have and that kind of stuff. 
there really needs to be more documentation because there's a lot of stuff and I can see where Hydrocraft, you know, for most people, it would be overwhelming. I know it's overwhelming for me. Okay, I'm gonna come back here and, and drop a lot of this stuff in my van. I think there's a house. Where you see a shed, there must be a house, right? All right, um, go ahead and push this stuff down. Wow, the gas can in the duffel bag takes forever. <laughs> oh man, okay. So all in all, I feel pretty good about this. I mean, I've survived a uh, good amount of time. I'm still a little bit weighted down, but I'm not too worried about it. I got my gun. That's all that matters. Yeah, there's a house right down here. We're going to check this house out and um, probably uh, call it a night. Um, it just makes more sense. Maybe I'll, I'll read or something. I don't know if I brought a book. Let's see? Just do a sweep of the, of the, the door, see if there's anything in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Make sure there's nothing just like, just hanging out. We're pretty remote, in a remote spot though. I mean, I've really, I've been, I mean, well, you guys saw. I was driving and I just didn't have like a, there was literally no zombies. Lots of fishing gear. I don't even know why I'm taking it. No gas. Let's check it out. See how the condition of this is. Well, this isn't that bad either. I think my van's better. Needs a new paint job, but other than that, you know. <laughs> Gotta impress the ladies. Oh, and it's times like these that I wish I had Super Survivors, right? Okay, let's go in. Anything in there? yoo -hoo. Don't mind me. Oh, there you are. I didn't even see him, but I know he's there. Oh, that's troublesome. I can't even see him. What do I do? I don't know if there's one or two. All I know is, is that it, 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 it sent me, it sent shock waves into my brain. It's like, oh no, a Zambi. I'm going to uh, go ahead and equip this. Let's take them out. Let's take them out. All right, so I thought I was going to get a generator today, but I just don't think it's going to happen. It just was not in the cards. East looked like a lot closer than what it was. He didn't even see me. What an idiot. All right, so I could, I could actually increase my reloading skill, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. There might be other things as well. Huh. Well. That's that. Nothing in here. All right. Well, I'm going to stop here. My name is Drunk on Life. You can call me Drunk for short. Um, if you like Project Zomboid and want to see more of this episode, this is Brenda's story, by the way. Um, we've lasted quite a few days. We've killed quite a few people. You know. Messed up some stuff. Killed some Zeds, all that. If you like that, uh, you can give me a big fat thumbs up. Um, otherwise, you can subscribe to me as well. I'd appreciate it. Uh, you can hit the bell. It'll notify you whenever I stream. I'm trying to do a consistent stream of three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm playing primarily uh, Project Zomboid. In fact, I haven't really deviated away from it. I did for a second with RimWorld, uh, but I probably will uh, add some more. I'm thinking about doing a sheltered uh, playthrough. Anyway... I appreciate you guys watching me, and uh, you guys have a great day. See you guys.